Just all of you sink. Okay. Looks like what we're going up after this. Um, yeah. This is interesting. Yeah. What is in here? Zombie! Oh, no. It's just all on a sudden... Yeah, on a sudden light from heaven shone around to him, and he fell to the ground? On a sudden light from heaven... Okay! Goes nowhere... I uh, see what's in here. Oh, that's why I can't crouch. Right. Mm. Wait, are we actually going up there then? Is that a path I see? Do I have to walk all the way there? I'm gonna be di be disappointed if I do. So it looks like a far, far walk. I feel like I'm going up there. Okay. Okay, that works. When Paul keeled over dead on the road to Damascus, they resuscitated him by hitting him in the chest with stones gathered by the roadside. He was lifeless for 21 minutes, certainly long enough for the oxygen levels in his brain to have decreased and caused hallucinations and delusions of transcendence. I'm running out of painkillers, and the moon has become almost unbearably bright. Um, sucks to be you. The moon is behind a behind a cliff. I really, yeah, we're going up there. No, I, what what is up there? I want to see. No, let me up. What is that? Game. Let me up there. Oh, come on. I can climb up this easy. Oh, fluff. Let me up. Let me up. Come on. Seriously. This is stupid. God damn it. Fucking games. Oh, look. It's a slight... It's a... Sorry, it's a 45 degree slight. Actually, this... This... I, I mean... That's a bit tall there. I've begun my voyage <gasps> on a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. You can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber, the pulped vegetation. When we become waterlogged and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge and carves parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. There was something up here, wasn't there? Or am I going crazy? Pretty sure I saw a figure up here. Oh, that's right. I think there are ghosts in this game or something. I think I mentioned before. There's like five ghosts. That may have been one of them. And as he was proceeding on his journey... Some giant fuckhead painted fo uh, phosphor phosphorescent paint on walls, thereby defiling the, uh, the, the terrain with paint and chemicals. Thanks for ruining nature, assholes. Really. Eh. Something about Damascus. Has come near Damascus. I mean, I'm, I'm just keep calling it Damascus because I can't read it. To yeah, I think it's Damascus. Now there's chanting. If only Donnelly had experienced this, he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. And neither did, did he eat nor drink. And he was three days... 
without food, without sight. Is this like biblical? I really don't get it. <laughs> also, fire hazards, you know, freaking light the island on fire. Good job. Yeah, I think I'll just finish this up. There are headlights oh. reflected in these retinas. Too long in the tunnels of my island without a bottom. The sea creatures have risen to the surface, but the gulls are not here to carry them back to their nests. I've become fixed, open and staring, an eye turned on itself. I've become an infected leg whose tracking lines form a perfect map of the junctions of the M5. I will take the exit at mid-thigh and plummet to my Esther. Um, sure. You do that. Is this a bunker? Oh god, it's my main Skype. Sorry about that. I think it's my, my friend. Eh, I'll talk to him in a bit. I'm actually surprised no one's pinged me in Steam because I forgot to, forgot to set myself in offline mode. Danger! It's a, fe it's a fence with. Bar Why should you have barbed wire there? Ow. Is it barbed wire? Yeah, it is. Well. And. At the game to Paris that has uh, made. Uh, it's a, can't read your fucking painting. I don't even care. Just shut up. Go away. Ah, I'm feeling working up here. I can see this from way down there. Because vision? I guess. I don't know. I, I can't even read this. And he was. Nincompoop had jumped off a building and tried being like Batman. I don't know. It's pretty free though. Well, oh, this is really pretty actually. Like without this grass. Actually, the, gra the, the grass is okay. Like yeah, this is like screenshot worthy. I have dredged these waters for the bones of the hermit, for the traces of Donnelly, for any sign of Jacobson's flock. For the empty bottle that would incriminate it. I have scoured this stretch of motorway 21 times, attempting to recreate his trajectory, the point when his heart stopped dead and all he saw was the moon over the Sanford Junction. He was not drunk, Esther. He was not drunk at all, and it was not his fault. It was the converging lines that doomed him. This is not a recorded natural condition. The gulls do not fly so low over the motorway and cause him to swerve. The paint scored away from his car in lines like an infection, making directly for the heart. Um, so there's a car accident killing Esther? I guess? Uh... I really got nothing, yes. No idea. We have a broadcast tower. Probably owned by the BBC. I'm a terrorist. I'm gonna go plant bombs at to knock it down, knock out communications for like you know 30 mile radius. We will leave twin vapor trails in the air, white lines etched into these rocks. Why these gates are open, I have no idea. Even though I say danger, someone didn't do their job. Dear Esther, I have burnt my belongings, my books, this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jacobson? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, but who was Donnelly? Who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. There will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without bottom, come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon, that they will not forget you. You've always been drawn to you. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent. Can I jump, aren't I? Jump! So I think... I think we're gonna move. Nope. 
I think what happened is, is that I'm going crazy or something. Maybe I was in a car accident and I'm Donnelly and Jacobson is a guy who crashed into my car with my wife Esther and she and he died and you know, I'm all despaired and I just jumped off a beacon on a weird island. Or I'm actually a gull and I've been hopping along this whole time. I have no idea what the fuck happened here. Like... What? I'm a gull? I... Eat. Am I still in the beacon? You can see the shadows, I mean, it's just clearly a gull, you know, flying about. My coffee is cold, unfortunately, it makes me very sad. I am so confused. I have no idea what's happened, and this game has been weird. I don't know, but um, that might be it. I, I don't know. It's just kind of sitting on a black screen now. Um, I think that's it. And it's just not one of those games where it, it kind of brings you back to the main menu after you finish it. I'm trying to think of all the keys in this game. Um... Okay. I suppose I'll try, try something out. Got nothing. I think that's it. Um. Yeah. That was Dear Esther, I, I guess? Now I can select all of them. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, I guess, guess I finished it. Um. Christmas roll? Well, okay, here's the credits, because I didn't show them before. I mean, the game is pretty, the music's nice, and everything's there, but I have no idea what happened. I mean, uh, full of metaphors, I'm a gull, um, I'm not a gull. I, I just don't get it. <laughs> um, the music's really nice. <laughs> Well, yes, this, this was Dear Esther, and I, I hope you guys are as confused as I am, because that would be awesome. But yeah, it was, it was interesting. I guess it was worth two bucks, especially for the soundtrack. I think I got it for three, actually. Um, that's sweet, so I can finally, you know, finish this up. Actually finish something. And I'll hopefully find something else to record a bit, because, um... School is starting for me soon again, and which means I have no time to do anything. But now I actually have an environment where I can record if I really feel like it, because own room this time for the first time in like two years, which is really nice. 
But on the other hand, even though that happens, I am full of classwork and homework and projects and work. And basically going to die from um, no free time. Well, that's, that's what I'm expecting, because projects. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. So I, go, I hope, hope you guys enjoyed this confusion fest of weirdness, but enjoyed the music and my babbling. So I'll catch you guys next time. I am Helene, and yes, that is about it, because I've forgotten how to do a sign-out after all of these years. So I will see you guys next time. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go go hit scroll lock. So see you guys. I'm out. Hey, I think that's it. Yeah, that sounds that sounds about right. Anyways, see you guys.